this is Jules the Rock Hobbit here, and I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. It is now the end of the week, and I know I'm sure happy that it is, because it has been a very rough week so far. I, um, the inevitable work has kept me from doing these videos, <clears throat> which I very, very much miss doing. And, uh, so speaking of videos, VidCon is coming up. We will be heading out to California on Wednesday less than a week now this is the last Friday before VidCon and <clears throat> so anyways we will be heading out that way my birthday is the 22nd and if anybody's going to VidCon and you register on the 22nd if you've been following the VidCon tips and stuff like that just know to keep your eyes peeled you could meet some fellow youtubers well you can meet fellow youtubers when you're out there but um some of the more the people you're like wanting to meet, like, oh, Markiplier or whatever. <clears throat> people like that. I mentioned Markiplier because obviously that's who I would like to meet, and I know John definitely wants to meet. But um, there's going to be a lot of really great people out there, and you can get a chance to meet them that day. Because, I mean, don't be overwhelming. Don't be a... <laughs> like, don't, don't do that. Just don't do that. Let's calmly go up and talk. Because they'll be registering too. They're getting into VidCon. So, anyways, I kind of went off on a tangent there about VidCon because I am excited about VidCon. But you're here at the channel, and if you're new, well, this is what I do I talk about music mostly, and I have band interviews and great stuff like that. <clears throat> but I'm trying to expand and do more stuff with this channel. Um, I'm going to be setting up a WordPress where I will have written blogs, but then I'm going to also convert them into videos here, blogs or whatever. So recently on my Instagram I said that I was going to be doing an album review of Andy Black's The Shadow Side. Now I've listened to it a few times, as I always do with anything, I try to listen to it a few times, see how I like it, you know, and then it grows on you and you like it. and. I'm kind of that way with this album, and I will get more into it in another video, because there's going to be an album review video, and I'm going to start doing that with other albums as well, you know, stuff that you guys want to hear, like that's the main thing I want to get out from you guys, is I want you to comment below telling me what album review you would like me to do. It'll be something like this, in the ugly kitchen. <laughs> um, Things will be getting better setting-wise very soon. Um, as you know, if you already follow me, you know that this is a house that I renovated last year and it took basically the entire year. So I've been living here for six months and haven't really been bothered to complete it because there was a lot of internal, like in the walls and that kind of stuff and brand new walls, brand new insulation and we need to paint this place. Yeah, it's ugly. But um, just been busy and you know, it doesn't have to look perfect in here, but it does eventually for the videos to look more appealing. Um, <coughs> but anyways, if there's something you want me to review, album-wise, movie-wise, whatever, I mean, that's cool too. This is more music-related stuff, but if you want me to do something like that, just let me know. So also, I just wanted to announce that there's a lot of things coming up, great things coming up, other than VidCon. Um, two more interviews, three actually, there's three band interviews coming up, okay? <clears throat> July 1st, I'll be going to Greensboro, and I'll be interviewing Something Clever out of Charlotte, and Ramey out of, I believe it's Greensboro, yes. Okay, so Ramey and Something Clever. If you are not familiar with them, go check them out. Their links are in the description where you can go see who they are, hear their music, get a feel for what they're like and see if you like them. That's The thing is, is on this channel, it's about music, right? But I have become, as I go along, I have become more local music oriented. And a lot of you that probably see these videos if you're not from around my area if you're in other countries or other parts of the united states you're like who the hell are these people i don't i don't understand 
that's the point. I want you guys to know about local musicians and I highly encourage you to do the same thing with your local music scene. You know, give them the exposure that they deserve because these people are working very, very hard for their art and there's some really amazing people that you can discover by doing this. Um, and a lot of great friends to make as well. I mean, lifelong friendships, you know, people that you admire. You, I don't even know how to put it into words. People that you admire, people that end up changing your life. And then if you just break out of your shell and just start talking to them, you can build lifelong friendships, you know, beautiful relationships with people in general. But what I'm saying is, I don't know, I've just been always been very attached to music. And I'm starting to go on a tangent now, but I don't even care. I mean, but music brings people together, long and short. You know, call it cliche if you want to. It's really not, though. That's just how it is. Whether it's a musician, whether it's a, a, a fellow media person, like, you know, that does photography or does stuff like I do, or completely different from what I do, but like in print or radio or whatever. And then people that create the instruments, even. People that build instruments, people that. It's a lot of different things, and it's there's so much just in my area, like North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia. That's also local, you know. Um, but I found myself going on many, many adventures here lately, and everyone thinks that I'm insane. Like, why are you spending all this money doing that? And it's like. And you know, these same people are the people who are like, you should follow your dreams. Well, this is my dream. So, that's another thing. Please put down below your dream, what it is that you want to do, and just explain how important you feel it is to your life and how it is to apply this to your life. I mean, you can't go through life just doing what everybody else says you're supposed to do. I mean, for example, the work I was talking about earlier. Um, it, it is what it is. It makes money. But I'll go ahead and admit, I hate it. I mean, it's, it's, it's retail, you know. Um, no thank you. I don't want to do that the rest of my life. But what I do want to do is support music for the rest of my life and um, help whatever way I can with doing this because I mean I love to play music too but I've always never been all that great at like finding people that want to form a band or stuff like that so I've always been a loner you know I just everything is, is done by myself because no one really ever wanted to get on board but I'm meeting all these really cool people and they're already doing things so I'm, I'm supporting them in like you know, as I said one time to my friend, um, I believe it was on social media or something like that, but I, I felt like I said it out loud. It's like, I'm capturing your souls <laughs> by taking your pictures and stuff. It's like, I captured, I captured musicians' souls with my camera. That sounds terrible. You know what I mean, though. It's just really cool capturing the passion and the glory and the excitement and them doing their thing, you know, it, it's so cool. Because I've just always been a fan of, of shows. Like, you, you, it takes you away. It takes you away from whatever's bothering you, and you're in the moment with them and feeling the music. And it's just, it's just beautiful. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's probably because you haven't been to a show. <laughs> Just, you know, go a show, go support local music, support just whatever it is that you like. Whether you're a country music fan, whether you, like, want to support your local club DJ, although that's not really playing an instrument, but, you know, if you're into that thing, go for it. Like, but for me, it's always been rock and roll, because rock and roll just, 
is, is my core. And this is going on 10 minutes now. Wow, I did not mean for it to be this long. But anyways, maybe some editing in order here. But three, <laughs> three interviews coming up. Raimi, something clever. And also last but not least, we have Shinobi Ninja out of Brooklyn, New York. We're gonna be going to Huntersville late July to interview them. And they are awesome. Also check them out in the link below, the uh, description below, their links. They are called like Afro Punk. And I do the quotes, just that's just a thing I do a lot. I'm not I'm not picking because I think they're awesome. Um, I found them last year and uh, yeah, they're really, really awesome. Check them out. I don't even know how to describe it. You have to just go listen to it. But I finally am able to interview them. That's going to be cool as well. So three interviews on the way. And also, I'm trying. I don't even, I shouldn't even be saying this in a video because it's not solid or whatever. But I'm just really excited about making it a possibility. I'm going to a show in Greensboro on July 20th. Lacey from Flyleaf, Lacey Sturm, I think I'm saying her name right, because I've never actually heard her name said out loud, but I've always read and I love Flyleaf. Lacey is now doing a solo thing. Raimi will also be opening for her um, at this show, and it's going to be awesome, but I'm going to try to get an interview with her. That would be so rad. Like, that would be awesome. So I'm going to try for that as well. And I'm going to try to end this video because it's gone on way too long. So, also, as I said in that vlog last time, if anyone actually watched that vlog, is that at VidCon there is going to be a cosplay Friday, right? You dress up as whatever you want. Guess who I'm dressing as for cosplay Friday? So yeah, write down below who you think I'm going to dress as. Also, he's going to be doing a cosplay too. I think it's kind of obvious he, who he's going to be. So, give it a guess. Alright guys, so... Look at this ugly ceiling. What is that? Is that... What does that say? Fat? I think it says fat. Oh well. It doesn't. I'm just messing. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'll talk to you later. By the way, look in the description, uh, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter, although I'm really not a Twitter person, I'm more of a Facebook person. Also, you can follow me on Instagram, where I just, like, post random things. They're not always YouTube-related, they're just things I enjoy from time to time, too. So, like this video if you liked it comment below anything you feel like saying and be sure to check out those bands in the links in the description below and also check out my other band interviews as well because they are really awesome and you should definitely check them out. Also if you want to see more videos like this and more mid more videos like that hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys later. Bye!